Many churches have stained glass windows, but one stands above them all. It really is a stunning sight. Joe Mazin takes you on a tour of an historic house of worship in this week's So Minnesota. It was a moment he'll never forget. It was outrageous. When Brother Paul Vincent Niebauer first walked into St. John's Abbey Church in Collegeville as a young student, it took his breath away. Just the sheer size was mind-blowing. Not long after, he ran off to join the circus. Just for fun, I kind of counted the number of performances. It came out to about 6,500 performances. For more than a decade, he performed under the big top in a traveling circus. As our abbot said, it was good training, probably, for monastic life. <laughs> Later, he heard the calling again to become a brother and return to the church. When this church is full, it's like a, a rock concert. Run by the Catholic Benedictine monks, St. John's Abbey Church is a historic house of worship. It's extraordinary. After the school's original 1892 church became too small, the monks wanted to build a bigger one. Benedictines tend to build big. They hired architect Marcel Breuer to build a church which would be a truly architectural monument to the service of God. He probably uh, really challenged the monks and the monks challenged him right back. The church took two years to complete and opened in 1961. There's a lot of light in here. Gives it a nice glow. Really brings, obviously, your eyes up to the Lord. The church's defining heavenly feature is the stained glass wall. When it was built, it was the largest stained glass window in North America. It's a natural design, you find it in nature. Just as important as the glass itself is the honeycomb design, which serves as a symbol. No one's more important than anyone else. Uh, they're the same size, and together they create something, hopefully ideally, uh, uh, beautiful for God. Clear windows on the side of the church give a different view of faith. God also created the world. That space out there is arguably just as sacred as this space in here. While this church is both beautiful and breathtaking, Brother Paul says you should keep buildings in perspective. This is not our home. Our home is in heaven. This is temporary. Even though it's concrete and rebar and granite, this is not our home. We're in the baptistry, which is just inside the main entrance. Brother Paul went from ringmaster to man of God. I am so blessed. By running off to the circus, he found faith under a different big top. In Collegeville, Joe Mason, 5 Eyewitness News. That church is spectacular. I encourage you to see it inside and out if you haven't yet. Joe shares different Minnesota stories every Monday night. If you have an idea about a person or place he should feature next, please email us at nightcast at kstp.com.